So my quest to see our planet thriving landed me back at the beginning of our journey in Australia on an island in the middle of the Great Barrier Reef. It's here where hundreds of thousands of species of wildlife live harmoniously and dynamically. The Great Barrier Reef is one of the seven natural wonders of the world that can be seen from space. And a wondrous place to experience it is the one and only Hayman Island. It's a gem in the middle of the magnificent Whitsunday Islands. And the welcoming committee is almost as cute as these little guys. And it's here on the beach where I met up with Haley, the resident marine biologist, before our adventure under the sea. It's gonna be beautiful, colorful coral, lots of fish. Might even see some turtles and some reef sharks. Sharks? Just reef sharks. <laughs> so the Great Barrier Reef is the same size as Italy. Really? Absolutely, so it's 70 million soccer fields long. 70 million soccer fields, or 1,600 miles, along the coast of Queensland. So there's a lot of bad press about the Great Barrier Reef, but it really is thriving. It is thriving. So one million species call the Great Barrier Reef home every year, whether or not they're sitting on it, swimming on it, just passing through. Even in ankle-deep water, there's so much life at your fingertips. I'm, my mind has been blown about the animals <laughs> that live on the Great Barrier Reef. Okay, I'm ready to have my mind blown, Haley. All right, cool. Let's go exploring. <laughs> Let's go diving! So what better way to see the Great Barrier Reef than on a great big boat? And this is our ride? I know, it's a pretty exciting morning. And welcome aboard the Osprey for your day trip out to the Great Barrier Reef today. Ah, oh, thanks, this is beautiful. I'm your Captain Mitch and his crew gave me a warm Aussie welcome. Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. I'm Lauren. Here we go. Our dive spot is on the outer reef. An excellent day for it, that's for sure. Our journey takes us by just some of the 900 islands inside the largest living organism on Earth. And when the weather turned, we were the only ones making waves inside the protection of the reef. Now time to prepare our fish signals. Definitely some turtles. Clownfish, clownfish, clownfish potato cards. Potato? 10% of the world's fish species live on the Great Barrier Reef. But we'll go over the hand signals for just a few. Oh. And as for who's the expert here. How many dives have you done, Haley? 5,000. 5,000. 5,000. Show off. <laughs> well, I'm in good hands with Haley. We moored off the reef so as not to disturb it. And now for that mind blowing experience. It's estimated that the Great Barrier Reef is 20 million years old, and it has the most colorful menagerie of living creatures. Hey there. Follow that turtle. Deeper and deeper we go. And at 50 feet below, we put on our show. And some of our audience flipped over it. This is too cool for school. It is absolutely thriving. So there's a lot of conservation approaches and protocols going on right now. For example, we're starting in primary schools. So we're teaching the kids how to recycle more. A lot of approaches in the agriculture industries, we're reducing their toxic output from their waste. We don't touch any things on the reef when we go out snorkeling, diving, paddle bottling, sailing. We're taking a spin on a sea bob. Sea bobs for everybody! So much easier than paddling. I just don't know why Little Mermaid wanted to leave the ocean. Nor did I. I'm tapping in. 